a few more minutes here. I guess I can talk. I'll tell you two more things here. Um, you know, where you live and your community is part of it. And I, I enjoy my community. I've got a good community. And, uh, you know, if you're not happy in your personal life, you're going to have challenges with uh, your work stuff, hey? But, uh, you know, just make your choices and, uh, you know, know that where you live and your community can kind of be two different things. Where you live is where you kind of sign off and say, this is it. This is where I live. I ain't doing anything else. This is what I do. And, uh, you know, do what it takes. If you got to, like... I don't want to say, you know, whatever, but do what it takes to figure out a way to make it work. That's where happiness comes, right? I've seen people, I know one guy that uh, he always wanted to teach about commodity futures, and he has a full-time job, and he just decided it was better for him. And then on his holidays, uh, he gets like a month of holidays, he takes half his holidays, and he, he's got some customers, and he goes out and does some training courses, so he keeps his hand in it and his flavor, and he's enjoyed life that way. So that's, I recommend that to anybody. Figure out a way. Make it work. Manage. Uh, you know, talk about the styles. And this is one that, uh, you know, in our adages as a Connections Consulting Incorporated, we have seven different components of our company, and one of them is our life motivations division. And uh, we talk about daily principles to live by. And, you know, body, mind, spirit makes up the person, right? We're not whole one of those things or the other. We're all three. And so prayer is important. If you're not kind of spiritual in your component of life when you're all three things, you are physically a body, a mind, and a spirit, well, you got to kind of take care of all three of your components. So uh, prayer is important, and it helps you kind of learn, because sometimes in the quiet moments, you'll, you'll just sort of get this, hear this... Uh, little whisper, soft, silent voice inside of you saying something to you about something you got to do, and even if it's just your to-do list for the day, so you're on track with the right things, you know, and if you don't take some quiet moments, sometimes it's in the can, that's the only place you can find it, if you got a busy family, I know my dad, my old man, he used to lock the door and go in the can, and, you know, have his five or ten or fifteen minutes and the three boys when we were all little would be pounding on the door right so we went to see our dad and uh you know so find the time because it, if your day is set in order through those quiet moments and i call it prayer um you're just on track and on focus and it's way better off um you know i don't want to really talk about this but I'll, the dishes who's going to do them you or the wife, or in a lot of people's cases, there is no wife or spouse anymore. So if you don't have a dishwasher, point is you got to get the personal stuff handled too, right? And uh, don't buy into the crap of other people's guilt trips about the way things used to be, the way the world works, or the standard you were even raised by. You got to make the best you can. So you show up and do the important priorities, the things well you need to do. And you're not accommodating somebody else's system. So, I mean, don't feel guilty. Just figure out a way to make your personal life work and be organized and in order, and you'll do fine. And it might not look like your neighbor's life or the other guy across the fence that is a single person living alone, you know, but whatever, that's the way it is, and the thing is, it's, it's up to you, right? So incorporate that into your leadership style, because, uh, you know, people respect that. If you got it all together and in order in your own life, in a way that gives you peace, and in a way that you handle life, so you feel calm and preserved, and not out of control, spazzing out, running around in chaos, like, it seems like 
often lots of people are, well, then you can walk in peace and do a better job in your world you're leading. So I think that's it. I'm always doing that too, I'm just like everybody. I'm a human, I'm trying to make the humankind in me work. Yes, so be yourself. Win. Keep winning. That's it. Keep winning. And sometimes you get awards beyond even your company, but in your industry. And that's truly a recognizing of you. So um, I'm going to sign off. I've been tried as a leader, tried and tested. And I'm here running my company. we got more coming in this next year. More internal videos on our website. This will be about it for external. ConnectCon.ca, Bernie May, Connections Consulting. And uh, live well, live better, and